Even by African standards, Malawi is one of the poorest countries in the world. They also have a million people living with HIV AIDS and women here risk death by doing something as simple as trying to have a baby. Not because they're reckless or stupid, but because they drew the short straw, geographically speaking. There are signs that the government might be wavering in its commitment to support Malawi. And standing here and having met the people that I've met and seen the things I've seen, I can only urge them with all of my heart and mind not to do so, not to waver. Really to say truthfully, aid does help and it makes a difference. Because if it weren't for the um, ARV program, the art program in Malawi, I wouldn't be alive. I would be saying this. Some people worry that aid doesn't arrive, it doesn't get here, it doesn't help. If you had not had help from Partners of Hope or Paradisa, do you think, what do you think? I would have died because I was getting very weak. Yeah. If you stop helping us, then it's very simple for us to die. When I have no equipment, I see a patient is suffering. I know what to do, but I can't do because I don't have the equipment. So sometimes I feel frustrated. So it's painful. I don't think anyone in the modern world should have to choose between a sick African baby and a sick British baby. I don't think it's cool and it's absolutely unnecessary. And we're not here simply to tell you how bad things can get and then walk away. We have a way of paying for it. It's called the Robin Hood tax. And it's not your money. It won't cost you a penny. It's a 50 pence tax on every thousand pounds generated by the kind of speculative banking, the gambling that went on in cyberspace that precipitated the recent banking crash that we're all now struggling to pay for. Were it adopted worldwide, it would generate something like 250 billion pounds or 400 billion dollars and would basically institutionalize charity and you would never ever have to listen to me banging on again. Each country would of course be at liberty to distribute the money as they saw fit, but the suggestion is that 50% of it be used for domestic issues. In UK terms, 1.5 million children live beneath the poverty line in the UK. It could be targeted at that. The other half split into two and 25% used for climate change issues, which are crucial, and the other 25 pointed at more traditional targets, like trying to stop 500,000 women dying every 12 months, trying to do something as simple as having a baby, not because they're reckless or stupid, but just because they drew the short straw, geographically speaking. It's a simple and brilliant idea, which always seems, when you first hear it, too good to be true. It's just that good, trust me. <laughs>